I'm part of the GSD wing of the Democratic Party. I want to get stuff done. My name is Ashwani Jain. I use he, him pronouns, and I'm running for governor to make politics inclusive and accessible. One by one, the candidates for the Democratic nomination for governor laid out their plans for Maryland. I'm offering a fundamentally different approach than the other candidates. The most important issue in people's minds right now is crime and criminal justice, and nobody here has any background in that whatsoever. They addressed crime in Baltimore and around the state. Over 2,000 mostly black young men in Baltimore City were slaughtered over the last eight years. And let's be honest, nobody says anything, nobody gives a damn because they're black. I will set my, stake my administration's claim on stopping the slaughter in Baltimore City. If we don't have any public safety or a concept of public safety, we can't have a, a flourishing economy. As a teacher and principal, I've lost students to gun violence when they were just trying to get back and forth to school. The tired talking points of the last 30 years and racist dog whistles are not keeping us safe and they're not keeping our kids safe. We need policymakers and judges who understand that. We're going to put a thousand more police officers on the streets, trained in de-escalation techniques. We're going to put an SRO in every school so your children are safe when you take them to school. On education, especially as we continue to emerge from the COVID-19 pandemic and help students who struggle. My top priority as governor, we would provide high quality tutoring to every struggling first and second grader in the entire state of Maryland because that's been shown to move them toward grade level early before their problems get serious. Education at its core, and it's focused from cradle through career. This is how we will again get back to number one. The biggest differences between the candidates were seen when asked about integrity. The voters actually know me and trust me and give me the good housekeeping seal of approval as far as integrity. The reality is, is that I think what people also understand is that the people who will get Peter Franchot's support oftentimes are those who pay for it. Controller Peter Franchot responded to the issue without directly addressing the allegation. I come back to the fact that the voters have this trust and confidence in me. Tom Perez took some of his time to criticize Wes Moore. In 2007 to 2012, I was fighting predatory lenders. And during that same time, uh, Wes was working at Citibank. Citibank was one of many banks that were very bad actors in the foreclosure crisis. More detailed a no confidence vote in 2018 by the Congressional Black Caucus against Perez. You're coming and asking the black community for their support. We're looking back at you and saying, where was your support when we needed it? Spirited responses that candidates hope will win them favor at the polls. Wow, and you can find a complete Maryland Voters Guide on our website and on the mobile app. Just tap politics on the app to get information on how to vote, who's running in all the races, and important election dates.